One of my professors this year made the argument that if the life of the babies are truly what we are concerned about, then a just changing policy might not be the best way to go about that. He says that making it illegal may not be the most effective way of saving lives, but rather improving quality of living so that women don't feel like they have to get an abortion. Well, there's an interesting dilemma. I wonder if we might have a clip from the archives that addresses this. Don't let this frighten you. Hello, my name is Todd Friel. I'm going to be your moderator for tonight's important debate on four big social issues. Ironically, to my right is the conservative opponent for office, and appropriately to my left would be your liberal contender for the office. We'd like to begin tonight's debate with the first contentious issue in today's American society, methamphetamines. Sir. Methamphetamines are destroying America. They must be eradicated. Well, that was rather brief and to the point. Uh, my liberal friend? Whatever our personal feelings about methamphetamines are, we must recognize that criminalizing methamphetamines will force them into the back alleys. Imagine for a minute the horror of methamphetamine dealers sneaking around without the safety and control of medical professionals. My plan is to make methamphetamine safe, legal, and rare. Very nuanced. Our next social issue is rape, sir. Rape is a horrendous crime that robs its victims of their innocence. It leaves them scarred for life. We must punish rape to the full extent of the law. Short and to the point, uh, the liberal candidate. I wholeheartedly support a man's right to choose what to do with his own body. But as we would all like to see the rape statistic go down, I think that we can find some common ground to work together to reduce the number of rapes. If we want to reduce the number of rapes, we need to put aside our differences and focus on the underlying social and economic causes of rape. I plan to reduce the number of rapes in our country by providing a low-cost, accessible dating service for all men. If a rapist can find a more loving way to deal with his desires, the number of rapes will surely decrease. Fascinating. The next social issue that we would like to tackle on tonight's debate, slavery. Conservative? Slavery is a shameful institution. The Declaration of Independence promises liberty to all people. America must exercise the courage to banish slavery from its shores forever. I can hardly wait, uh, my liberal friend. Slavery is a delicate issue, and convictions run deep on both sides. I believe that the decision to own a slave is profoundly difficult, and it is a personal decision between a white man and his God. And finally, child pornography, sir. Child pornography is a despicable evil that undermines the basic humanity and decency of our country. America should not, cannot, and will not tolerate child pornography. And finally, the liberal opponent. First of all, let me say that I fully support an individual's right not to engage in child pornography. However, this is a very contentious issue, one that I have carefully studied for some time now, and the one thing that is clear is that theologians, philosophers, and medical professionals all disagree when childhood ends. I mean, we don't know. Is it 18 years old, 16 years old, or 13 years old? And if the experts cannot reach consensus on the difficult issue, we must allow individuals to choose according to the dictates of their conscience. All righty then, and that concludes tonight's debate. You see, when you simply replace the word abortion with another social ill, then all of a sudden we seem to have clarity. Part two? Hello and welcome to round two of our Values Voters Forum, or something like that. My name is Todd Friel, the host with the annoying, arrogant, condescending voice. Tonight we are going to tackle three more moral issues. Uh, to my right is the fanatical fundamentalist conservative. Good evening, Todd. Thanks for Good having evening, me. Good evening, indeed. I don't particularly care for you. And uh, to my left is the liberal opponent. Evening, Todd. This evening our first moral issue is incest a conservative incest is clearly wrong and it is not compatible with any civilized society hmm not very nuanced liberal 
I am personally opposed to incest. However, my views on incest are religious based and I cannot impose those views on others. All right then, our second moral issue is that of domestic abuse, a fanatical? Domestic abuse is a degrading and humiliating crime and it cannot be tolerated in America. Amen. Well stated. A liberal. I am prepared as a matter of faith to say that domestic abuse is wrong. But that is my personal opinion and judgment. For me to impose that judgment on everyone else is inappropriate. Now what I am willing to do is to reduce the number of battered women by providing care and assistance and encouragement to men. For the... All righty then. Our final moral issue of the evening is oppression of the poor. Wise one to my right. Oppressing the poor is despicable and no country that does it will ever be a grand country. Mm -hmm. And finally, Wingding. Once again, my views on the poor are personal religious views for me. It is wrong to oppress the poor, but other devout God-fearing Americans disagree. Therefore, I cannot allow religious opinions to influence our public policy. Well, that was fascinating. And that concludes our Values Voters Forum on three important moral issues. Thank you for joining us this evening.